Hello guys, so in this video we will be going to discuss how we can access an RDS uh, and private RDS from our local machine with the help of a jump server. Okay, so first let's let's understand what what exact what what is the problem statement exactly. So the issue is uh, like uh, let us suppose you are you are working for a client who does not want to uh, assign any public IP with the RDS database. Okay, and you wanted to do development on top of that database and uh, uh, like uh, for the for the ease of development you wanted to access that database from your local machine okay and if it is not accessible obviously the development will be would be very typical for you and uh, it would, would it would be kind of a haptic for you right the reason being is you need to develop each api and then after you will going to deploy that on the dev server and then after only you can test it and if you found a bug you need to again uh, make the changes on the uh, on your local machine and then after again push it and then again test it so it, it's a kind of a long cycle added so for to solve this problem what we did is we will going to access this private rds using using a jump server okay so i will let you know like what exactly this jump server is let's first check this out how we can do this okay so here uh, to make this video short i have already created a database it is of type postgres and uh, so you doesn't matter what engine you are using it could be any any engine other engine as well mysql or any other as well okay so so i have created this database and the engine is postgres sql endpoint is i have got this endpoint availability zone vpc security group and vpc and make sure like the ma main point is here this database is not publicly accessible okay so if this is publicly accessible like if we found yes here then it would be directly accessible from our local machine but if it is no it means like the aws have not assigned any public ip with with this database so we would not be able to access this from the our local machine so let's first test this if we are able to access or not okay so i will going to copy this endpoint and then after i will going to paste it here okay so uh, my bad i think i have not copied it yeah okay so here what i did is i already pre-written a code in python and using psychopg2 library so in this first i am making a connection with the database and then after i am trying to print all the database list okay so uh, let's try to run this okay if i ran it okay so that is pretty obvious if it is taking that much of time it it basically means this rds is not accessible from this uh, local machine okay so uh, we will not waste our time here okay so we got this as well like uh, psychopg2 operational error connection to server this 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 port 5432 failed connection timed out okay the reason being is this database is not accessible on any, on any public ip okay so let's first do first let's understand how how we are going to access this okay so to break this problem in two parts let's let's first try to access this database from an ec2 okay so i will minimize it and i will going to going on ec2 console so here what i have did is like i have created an ec2 and just named it jump server we will understand why i called it jump server so the configuration we need to make sure like you can follow like it's very basic to create an ec2 the configuration you need to make sure is the first one this ec2 machine should should be live in the same vpc group we i mean in the in the same vpc in which your rds lies okay so here you see the vpc id and its ed42 and this ec2 also have the say also inside the same vpc ed42 okay so first thing you need to verify is this second thing what you need to see is you need to see this vpc security group on your rds so here i have named this rds sg okay and if you see the ecd security group ecd security group is launch wizard hyphen 4 okay so that's the default name given by the aws only so what i will do is i wanted to access this rds database from my ec2 machine okay so first step i will going to L, i will go to this rds security group in the new tab i will click on this inbound rule and then after i will edit this inbound rule and i will add an rule that in which i will kind of allow this 
I will kind of allow the traffic from EC2 security group into my RDS so that EC2 can access this RDS. Okay. So if you wanted to specify any port, like you can just give it 5432 and then after save rules. Okay. So now EC2 would be able to access this RDS. So let's first test this. Okay. So I will click on connect and then after I will going to connect this. So you like the EC2 instance connect is really a good option. So you can connect from the browser only. Okay. So I will copy it again. Okay. So here I have like pre-written the command to connect to the, uh, the RDS, I mean Postgres database. Okay. So I will paste it username i will uh, i think would be postgres and then after i will move hyphen d hyphen password and, and enter it again enter it there so okay okay so i will copy it and then after go to the console and uh, okay then after i paste it okay so it says this p sql is not found so i will copy this and just paste it I think it needs PostgreSQL client as well. So I will paste this as well. Okay, so sudo apt get update. I think it does not found this archive. Okay, so that's done. After that, I will going to again install PostgreSQL client. That's it. Okay, so now I will going to again retry uh, connecting to the psql, I mean connecting to the RDS database using psql command. So it is asking for password. So I will copy this capital T EST12345 and going to paste that plain text and enter. So we have connected to the database. Okay, that's great. Okay, so kind of we have solved the first first part of the problem. Okay, the only uh, uh, like the trick is we need to allow the security group inside the RDS security group. Okay. In inside the inbound address in inbound uh, sort of address. So that's done. Now I will going to close this and I will close this as well. Okay. So the trick is how we can now let's discuss how we can access this from the local machine. Okay. So on the local machine, what we will going to do is let us suppose we wanted to uh, uh, like uh, like just request like select a star from a table name. Okay, so what we will do, we will make this request to our EC2 machine. And then after EC2 will request the same data to the RDS. And once EC2 got the result from the RDS, it is going to share the same response with our local machine. Okay. So EC2 is just, just working as an hopping machine only like a jump server. The request came from the local machine. EC2 make this request to the RDS. Once it got the response from the RDS, it is going to share the same response with our local machine. Okay. So that, that's we, that we call as secure reverse tunneling. Okay. So let's see how we can implement this. So command is, so I have already pre-written command for you. So what you need to do, you just need to make some changes. I will let you know and this just copy this command on a local machine. Okay. So let's understand what is this, what this command is. Okay. So you need to, uh, I will, I will change this. The first one is key pair file name. So what you need to do, you just go to the EC2 machine that we have created that, that you have created earlier. And then after just open it and then after click on connect and then after you need to click on SSH client. Okay. So here you need to see is inside the, ins uh, like the key fair file name. Okay. So you need to copy it and then after just replace this key pair file name with the, uh, like the, I will, I will copy this and paste it here and you need to just replace this with the actual file name. And then after it is asking for the DB endpoint. So I will go to the DB RDS here. You need to copy this and paste it. I have not copied, I think. Yeah, I have pasted it. 
and after that you need to replace this ec2 public ip as well so how you can copy this ec2 public ip you can just copy what is after after is this at the rate okay so i will copy this and paste it here okay so now uh, my bad yeah so here this this command has been ready for us so what we will going to do is i will go to the command prompt so before this make sure you are inside the uh, folder in which your key key file name i mean key is available okay so you just need to paste this command i will going to enter this you just it is asking for like you want to connect or not yeah so that's it so once it is done it is it says for going to background so now you can close this as well it is not required like this channel has been created in the background so first let's understand what this command is doing so this command is kind of i will i will zoom it a little so we will see what is this hyphen f hyphen l hyphen n and hyphen l use so what it is doing is kind of we are saying through this with the help of this command any request coming on this day on this end point i mean on this 5432 port please refer this request to the this end point and this port with the on the on this machine okay so what this command is going to do this command first i mean like let us suppose we are heading and request select a star from a table name okay so first uh, like uh, this command goes to this machine and then after this command will be translated to this this database endpoint okay so i hope this has been like i hope you are clear with that very clear with this so hyphen f purpose is to kind of uh, we wanted to fork it to the background so that is the purpose of hyphen f hyphen l hyphen n is used to uh, i mean uh, for creating a reverse tunnel reverse tunnel so uh, i think you are clear with that so i will going to again explain it one more time if if it is not clear to you so what we are telling is just go to this machine then after any request you have on this on the local machine i mean on the local port of local machine 5432 port you got any request just go to this machine and then after run it against this ip address and port okay so this is how it going to works okay, okay. so now once you have ran this command we will again go to the code section what you need to do is now we need to convert change this host as local host okay this is very important if if you don't do this it will not going to work okay uh it says okay so why it is not accessible psychopg2 dot operational error connection to the server at local host 5432 okay my bad uh, we, we have a space here okay so that's a issue i thought like what is so connection to the database successfully and it it has printed all the database okay so i hope you got the trick so for uh, like using this reverse tunneling technique you can easily access your database i mean even the private database uh, from your local uh, machine the only cost uh, you need to bear is of this ec2 cost and that is really very mini minimalistic uh, like in comparison to the development cost like the ec2 will cost you like the minimal of 9 dollar and uh, if you don't use this technique the development will be going to take i think one, one or more month more so okay so that's i think this cost is nothing uh, uh, like in comparison to the development cost so i hope you like this video if you have any review comments for me please let me know and if you have any question or queries like around this uh, if if you are facing any problem in connect, connecting to the database please let me know i i am more than happy to help you thank you and please do subscribe to the channel